So this is going to be a MacBook Air that doesn't turn on. Let's figure out why. So on the power supply, when I plug this in, it draws 0, 0.000 amps. So this machine's not even trying. All right. Took it out of the machine, and now it works, and it turns on. Well, that was easy. Less work for me. Take a look at that. This is what it looks like on the trackpad when you remove the battery. So in this machine, the trackpad sits under the battery. This machine is from before when Apple decided to start gluing the batteries into the casing. So it's a little bit more reasonable to get into. Now, you may be wondering, why is it that the trackpad having this on it can stop the machine from working? What does the trackpad have to do with the rest of the computer? That's a very good question. So let's check out the schematic in the board view so I can show you why it is that this would be an issue on this model computer. If you look over here and we go over to the trackpad, connector, J4800, you'll see a list of all the signals present. One of these signals present is SMC LSOC Reset L. That's going to go to U5110. U5110 is for SMC Reset. The SMC can be reset by the trackpad. It can also be reset by SMC on off L. SMC on off L is your power key. So when you reset the SMC by holding down the power key, what you're doing is you're telling the SMC Reset IC, reset the SMC. The SMC is U5000. So SMC U5000 has a data line with the battery charging chip. The battery charging chip is going to control the charger. The trackpad having a teeny tiny speck of liquid on it can actually stop the charger from working and can entirely destroy the machine's ability to turn on. Since SMC LSOC reset L goes through the trackpad and also SMC on off L goes through the trackpad and these two signals go directly to the SMC reset IC which then goes directly to the SMC you can actually fry the system's ability to turn on by getting a single drop of liquid into the trackpad which is not sealed in any way, shape, or form to stop liquid from getting into the computer. If we take a look, you'll see that the connector for the trackpad, this is the trackpad. This is the connection between the keyboard and the trackpad. The keyboard communicates with the trackpad and the trackpad communicates both the keyboard signal and the trackpad signal over to the computer. This connection is right on the edge. It's not in the middle, it's right on the edge. And there is no seal on this machine. So if we look at the other side of the computer, you'll see that on every side of the trackpad over here, there is an opening. And you can actually see through that opening. Look at that quality. You could see the light from the window in that opening. Look at that. Look at that. Think different think different. Engineer different, folks. That is Apple. So what happens is if you get even a single drop of liquid on it, it's going to corrode this section and it's going to look like this. So the trackpad itself getting a single speck of liquid on it will not only ruin the trackpad due to the complete lack of sealing in this machine, it will actually destroy the machine's ability to turn on because in Apple land, in Think Different land, the trackpad communicates directly with the system management controller, which can tell it to not turn on anymore. Great. The trackpad communicates directly with the chip that allows the SMC, which is the system management controller, to be reset so that the system doesn't turn on. Fucking Think Different. Let me show you some thinking. This is a ThinkPad. I'm actually going to remove the battery since that has where the trackpad is on the other side. So let's be fair to Apple. So this is the trackpad. It's visible. I have removed the battery. Can you see the light from the window through my ThinkPad? No, you can't. You know why? Because the people that designed this computer actually thought. You need to learn how to think before you can learn how to think differently. If you don't, this is what happens. Let's replace the trackpad on that machine and move on to the next ticket.